Welcome to the tutorial on how to install Luminous Regalia. Regalia is Luminous's most premium inverter. Inside the main Regalia box, you will find a wall mounting kit, the manual kit and the inverter unit. In the manual kit, you will find three things. The manual, the wall mounting instructions and the wall mounting aid sticker. Let us now see how to mount Regalia on the wall. Make sure that the wall being used is at least 35 mm thick or is a pillar. Take the wall mounting aid sticker and put it on the wall at a suitable height. Keep it parallel to the ground. Next we will use an 8 mm bit to drill holes into the wall into the points as shown. Now we will open the wall mounting kit box and lift the first panel. Take the brackets named WB and hammer them into the drill points. Next, take the screw labelled WA and the washer labelled WC. Use them as shown and put it through the mounting hook and screw it into the bracket in the wall as so. Make sure that the screws are tight. Now we will remove the regalia unit from the box. Carefully lift the unit by using two people together. Next, shift the unit to the foam sheet packaging as shown. Now we will attach the adapter plates to the unit using the screws MC and washer MG. Put the screw MC and washer MG as shown and use it to screw in the adapter plate. Repeat for the other adapter plate. Now we will attach the supporting spacers into the unit using screw MB and washer MH. For the next spacer, Make sure that the stand is pointing up. Tighten up the screws and cut the cable tie holding the rope. Now we will get the clamps from the wall mounting kit. The pouch will have two clamps and a spanner. Open the clamps nuts and attach the rope as shown. Tighten the nuts as required. Finish tightening it using the spanner. Attach the next clamp as shown while making sure that the wire is tight in the middle. Use a cable tie to tie the ends of the wire. Now we will open the side panels. First push down on the sides and then in the middle as shown. This will expose the handles used to lift the unit. Repeat for the other side. Be careful not to damage the panels. Using the side handles on both sides, lift the inverter to the wall mounting hook. Put the tight side of the rope on the hooks as shown. After hanging the unit on the wall, it should look like this. The unit should be parallel to the ground and straight. Next we will open Regalia's battery from the second box. Lift the battery and keep it on the foam packaging sheet. The battery has three types of LEDs labeled battery, alarm and run. First check the battery by pressing the reset button for 5 seconds using a screwdriver or the end of a cable tie. This also turns on the battery. If the battery and run LEDs light up together, the battery is ok. If they do not light up together or the alarm LED lights up, contact the CSQ team and get the battery replaced. To turn off the battery, press the reset switch again. This is the top side of the battery. Make sure that it is pointing upwards. Make sure that the battery slot is clear of all wires so that it does not interrupt the way of the battery. Lift the battery up and slide it into the slot from the right side. One person should hold the regalia from the left while the battery is being inserted. Screw the battery in. There are, four, there are 8 screws in total, 4 on the top, 4 on the bottom. After connecting the battery, open the bottom panel. On the left, you can see the DC and AC MCBs. They should be in off position during connections. Next, we will connect the battery to the inverter from the left side. Push the connector into the battery as shown. Now, we can connect the wires into Regalia. Pass all wires through the hole in the back of the inverter and bring it to the front on the bottom panel. In the bottom panel, we have the terminal block. From the left, the connectors are lives main mains neutral, output neutral and output live. Earth wire is on the right which is mandatory. On the right we have the solar panel terminals, PV positive on the left and PV negative on the right. Make sure that the polarities are correct while connecting it. 
Now turn on the battery by pressing the reset switch for 5 seconds and then switch on the DC MCB. Keep the AC MCB off. The touch screen will light up. Press the power button on the lower right of the screen to turn on Regalia. The display will show the backup time remaining and the mode of the inverter. If the bar is going down, the battery is discharging. Next, using a multimeter, check the AC voltage between the output neutral and the output live as shown. The multimeter should read 230 volts. Now, switch on the AC MCB with the mains power. If the AC power is available, it will show a charging symbol on the screen and the battery will start going up. This will show the, char the time required to charge the battery to 100%. Do not put any load on the inverter until the battery is 100% charged. If the screen is not touched for 10 seconds, it will go into standby mode. Touch the screen to show it again. If solar panels are connected, the screen will have a yellow border. Now with all the connections made, we can close the Regalia unit. Carefully put the side panels back on. This will be the final look when the Regalia unit is completely installed. Now we will see how to replace the touch screen if it is damaged. First open the bottom panel and turn off both the AC and the DC MCBs. Next open both the left and the right side panels. Now switch off the battery by pressing the reset button. With all the LEDs off the battery is ready to be removed. Unplug the connector from the battery from the left side. On the right side open the four screws on the top and the four screws on the bottom to remove the battery. Disconnect all wires attached to the inverter. If you have a small screwdriver, you can access the touchscreen from the right side of the panel. There will be four screws and two connectors that need to be removed as shown. To connect the new touchscreen, first connect the two connectors and then screw in the four screws. If you do not have a small screwdriver or need to replace the power card, you will need to open the inverter's bezel. Lift the inverter from the wall mounting and keep it on the foam packaging sheet with the front facing down. There are three screws that need to be open. Now gently flip the inverter onto its back like shown. We will now open the bezel. There will be three screws on the left and three screws on the right that need to be removed. On the bottom panel there will be two more screws that need to be removed. Once the screws have been opened the bezel can be removed. There are two locks in the basil that need to be pushed for it to open. Be careful with the basil not to damage it. Now if you want to remove the touch screen, you can do it by opening the four screws and two connectors as shown before. To connect the new touch screen, first connect the, the two connectors and then screw it in. You can now access the power PCB board as well. To remove the power PCB, open the screws as shown and remove the connectors. These are the screws that need to be opened. Once the repairs have been made, the basil can be put back in. Carefully reattach the locks and then reattach all the screws holding the basil together. There are three screws each on the left and on the right. Two screws on the bottom panel and three screws in the back panel. This concludes our video on the installation and maintenance of Luminous Regalia. Thank you.